Okay, gang, what's up? I'm back. And, uh, did I make any real changes? Oh, right, yeah, okay, I remember what I did with this, so... You may remember from way back when we were rocking the Meta Jail 1s for a while, but I picked up a set of Meta Jail t uh, 3s. They're in T code, which is kind of unfortunate. I would rather have gotten the S code set, but I'll live with it. Uh, did we get anything else in here since last time? If not, I can at least do some analysis here and see what we're missing from the library. Uh, we're missing Lava Cannon 3. We can't fight that enemy until Secret 3. We're missing Volcano. Uh, we need Custom Style for that. Oh, I, sorry, I just spoiled what will give that to us. Uh, we're missing Burning, another Custom Style exclusive. Do, 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 do. No Beam 3. No Beam 3 is in Secret Area 3, and it's in one of the hardest to encounter fights in that area, actually, come to think of it. Uh, what else is going on here? Needler 3, that Secret Area 3 as well. Mole 3, once again, this enemy, I believe, is in Secret Area 3 exclusively. That is Aura, and we can actually go get that. That's on the, uh, that's behind the, the locked cube that... We had to beat Bubble Man for. Then there's the rest of these. I'm going to look up where we find those virus families. Uh, Hole? That's a secret area three, and so is Sanctuary. Anti-Sword is one we can trade for, and then, like, everything else we'll figure out there. We'll figure out the Megas and the other Gigas and stuff sooner rather than later. I'm doing okay today. Uh... I finished leveling up, by the way. I finished leveling up Elex Shield. Uh, where's our Reflect program? Yeah, you can see that it's got a pretty big area, and it's a little bit on the awkward side, and it's a little bit, uh, a little bit hard to fit in sometimes. But there's a good reason for that. It's because Reflect is real good if you know the timing, and I kind of don't, so... I'm probably not going to mess with it too much on stream. To compress this, our compression code is B up A left left B. And as you can see, that is marginally more manageable. Uh, there's no real reason to go to Higsby's right now. Yeah, the trade I need is... Uh, we got to go back to the, the TV studio. I don't have chat open. I'll fix that in a second. I wasn't looking. I just... For some reason... Did not go look. And yeah, I'm... Operating that with only the one hand. Because the other hand is on the mouse. I'm looking for... Yeah, virus breeder. That's what we're looking for there. Alright. <laughs> Adventure 2020's dub is coming to Hulu in July. Gotcha. So, uh, the trade is with this dude back here, right? Yeah. Here you go. And we get anti-sword. Y code is kind of... Eh, but, I mean... Anti-sword is just a really good ship in general. Anti-sword is... Well, obviously, anti-sword is just, like, a hard counter to Proto Man entirely. It blocks his attack, and you counter for, like, I think 300 damage or something. Yeah, it's three hits for 100 damage each. It also works as a counterattack to Beast Man's attacks. And also Metal Man's uh, Frisbee of Death, the Metal Blade. That is also countered by it for some ungodly reason. <laughs> I want to go see what code his Higsby has this for sale, just out of curiosity, because I sure as hell can't afford it right now, but if I can get more of these, I want them, because they are, they're pretty A+. They are great, 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 great things to have. Oh yeah, this is the wrong stock. Oops. Oh, uh, you think I don't know how to play video games or something. Oops. Where... Oh, I passed it, didn't I? Yeah. It's K-Code. Ugh. Ugh. 
gross. I mean... Kingman, I guess, is usable. Actually, if you're going to build, like, a Proto Man counter folder, Proto Man hugs the back column, so... That means that you can line up Kingman with relative ease. Alright, so let me go and... Yeah, I'm... So, before I go and deal with any of the rest of Secret Area or any of the other shit that I need to... that I can do, I'm just gonna go and... I'm gonna knock out as many of these... And by as many of these viruses, I mean all of them, because... Well, I guess with the exception of the other half of the Scutless family, because, yeah. Yeah, I think you mentioned that last time. Because you got a, a new monitor or something. I don't remember I don't remember the exact story, but Well, if it's if it's working for you, that's the important part, really. So I don't remember like what the, the pixel hunt we have to do for these dudes is. But they spawn in a specific location. I gotta remember to, like, select everything that I can every turn, because I want to push very hard on my thing to get to custom style. So here's what the group fights look like for our old friends, the virus family, uh, the virus breeder families, pardon me. Is that it's just all three of the viruses of the one type. Ooh, that's actually not quite the one I was looking for, but alright. Well, with that move, that just clears the fight for us immediately. And they're located in fixed positions on the internet, and... You get this going on. Yep, so we just get a direct line to the Virus Brooder, at least. Thankfully, we don't manage to ever send, like, something terrible that we shouldn't send. So at least there's that going for us. Oh yeah, there's one more, uh... Well... <laughs> The, the proliferation of internet pornography does not seem to ever be a plot point in this series. For reasons that are probably understandable when you remember that these are kids games, but also, like... Listen, let's just say that there are some things about this game that are going to be unrealistic just by default, so... Yeah. For some reason, this blue mystery data doesn't spawn until pretty late in the game. And it contains Aura F. And, yeah, there you go. That's another one of our chips that we didn't have in our library before. It's a pretty okay chip. It blocks everything under 100 damage, but you probably want it much earlier in the game. So. Yeah. Pull that list back up. Uh, under net one. Bloop. Okay, so... We're gonna go back to Yoka in order to gain easier access to a couple of these locations. First thing, we have to go to the back of the zoo dungeon again. They... I said before that I kind of like how they reuse the dungeons. I just realized how much of the... 
how much of that is this specific dungeon. And I find that kind of funny for some reason. That did not go how I wanted it to at all. We'll, we'll just... Just the, the simple. Yeah, I readily admit that this is kind of going to be a little bit boring because, again, we got to go back through this dungeon for, what, the nine millionth time? And yet, I still can't remember which way to go in most of it. Listen, it's it's the sort of thing that it's easy when the, the regular dungeon landmarks are there, but once you get rid of that stuff, then my brain just goes completely down the toilet. I mean, I guess. Uh, wow, another... Another list for Rush Duel and Master Duel. It seems like that was something that just... We just got another list for that recently, too. Like, a couple weeks ago. So all I can say is, well, at least they're busy. <laughs> right? Shit is happening in, in that game. And I'm glad for it. I enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, at least on some level, so... just, wow, I wish I had a chance to actually play this in real world a little more often. If only it weren't for that fucking disease, you know? Alright, come on, one of you guys... Yeah, there you go. Gets more lists than F-Zero gets games. That's not saying anything, though. <laughs> oh, by the way, there was another Nintendo Direct between my last two streams. And, uh, yeah, there was no F-Zero game. I do gotta say that, uh... Super Mario Wonder looks pretty alright. I think it's called Super Mario Wonder. Uh, there's a remake of Super Mario RPG that was announced. And all I can say is, boy, I hope that's good, because that is, uh, I think that for some people that would be veering a little bit close to, a little bit close to sacrilege, because Super Mario RPG is very beloved of a game. And to be fair, I also love Super Mario RPG. It's, it's real good. It's real fun. 
it is a pretty solid name, uh, solid game, pardon me. And also, uh, again, if they're, uh, they got Yoko Shimomura back for the music, apparently, is what I've been informed. So that is very likely to be a high point. Personally, I'm hoping for, like, really, really questionable voice acting for all the characters. Just because I, I want there to be, you know, something there that's just a lot of fun. On that level. Oh, wow, they actually let me get away with... Well, then again, this is second dungeon. So the enemies probably should be a little bit easy, but that seemed... Like, far more than I was expecting. Now that time I had a little bit of confidence in my ability there. And that's and that somehow enabled me to pull it off. No, no, that doesn't sound right. Never mind. I was freaking out the whole time actually. Cuz I don't know how to aim. The, I don't know how to time for doing that middle column uh target with Magnum. It is not really my strong suit. Unless I don't really want to land it like that, you know, because it... If my goal is actually to land the back column, it will... It will fail miserably. At the very least, somebody will laugh about it, so, you know, there, there's something to be gained there. I guess. Dang it! Stupid rat moved down. Oh, perfect. They both moved forward. Gotcha! That could not have gone better if I had planned it. Actually, probably literally true in this case, but I digress. Oh, that, that's right. That fails to... But thankfully, the, the bug just walked right into the, the plasma ball. So, that worked out okay. Somehow. I am getting away with things that I probably shouldn't hear. And that bodes so well for the, the group of enemies we're going to be encountering here in a second. Yes! Oh, no, I would rather have Mallow and Smash. <laughs> I feel like I'm a strange person for saying that, but, like, also... I think... I think Mallow has more going on... in terms of, like, just, just baseline moveset... before they add anything new. Anywho, uh, we've got... the third version of the moles here. As you can see, little, little buddy is yellow. Thankfully, Magnum takes care of these real well, like it does with basically everything that's not a shadow type, so... Hooray!
They got real cute little overworld sprites, too. Where's my list? Which tab was that again? There we go. Yeah, I mean, Gino is kind of cool, but like, I'm just thinking in terms of building a fighting game character. Gino's entire move pool is basically gun, gun, more gun. Oh, turn into a gun gun it's Gino is just kind of boring in that regard they'd have to do a lot of work to make Gino an interesting character as a fighting game character meanwhile I think Mallow just has a lot more material and of course yeah uh Gino doesn't have a real character arc as such he's more of a driving force anyway uh there's some other stuff for me to right right I remember what else my I gotta do here Seeing as how a lot of the rest of it is going off of this location. Oh, that's neat. I know that there's, well, actually, come to think of it, I don't know what the state of... I don't know what the state of Super Mario RPG hacking is at this point. I know that you can technically do it. Lazy Shell exists, and I... I know people have done a few hacks for it, but I don't... I don't know how much, like, change they've done with it. I know you can obviously do quite a bit of graphical adjustments, because a lot of that stuff... You know, it, all of that, you know, the, the locations of the graphics anyway are all known factors. So it wouldn't be too hard to do graphic swaps for stuff like that. Is what I'm trying to say. the right yeah because this listing doesn't really give too much specifics other than oh they're on the bottom path of this of this internet area oh yeah thanks a lot buddy that's a good explanation guide writer let me tell you somehow the quality of the average guide even on like super dedicated sites has somehow managed to get worse than that of game FAQs in the intervening several, you know, years. Here we go. This'll be it. Jelly, heat jelly, earth jelly. Have we seen an earth jelly yet? I don't think we have, but if we haven't, there you go. That's what you're dealing with. 270 HP. And unfortunately, that black bomb timing was pretty bad, and that other timing was even worse. However, thankfully, they actually count as wood element, so... We can just absolutely blow that thing away with Magnum. Good old, good old double damage. Landing that 360 damage hit. Always fun. Please, God, don't let me get ambushed by Drum in here. I was genuinely... I was sweating a little bit. I was so waiting for the game to be like, Hey, yeah, you want to fight the most toxic boss in the game? 
with your folder? And I'll just be like, no? What's wrong with you, video game? As if I'd expect an answer, right? Uh, blew up my... Blew up my explosive device. Dang it. So one thing is that I'm trying to avoid selecting Navi chips because... Those can interfere with my ability to get custom style. Because custom style is about doing combos and not just nuking the enemy out with Navi chips. Ah, bogus. And there's our swarties. Okay, there's only two more for us to pick up. Well, okay, technically there's three more for us to pick up, but there's only two more that give us chips, because we already have the Scutless chip from uh, my getting those off camera before. You only need one of the two sets for it, which is neat, because that's the only one that has two sets. Near Blackboard. Let's be here. There we go. All right, yeah, three eyeballs. This is this is the grouping we want to see, right? This isn't worrisome or anything. Oh god. Yeah, um what was I just saying? This isn't worrisome or anything. Sheesh. I remember sensors lasers pierce invisible so <laughs> that invis ship fucking worthless awesome get this thing out of here ah. Ah. neat now just one more to get. <laughs> Dale. Do -do 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 -do. Listen, I swear very soon we're going to do, like, actual content, so... Well, okay, very soon might be a bit of a stretch, but certainly within a reasonable amount of time. An asterisk code panel grab is... You know, th those are useful... I just don't use them that much. Is this area two? Yeah, I think there we go. Okay, yeah, so we've got just a bunch of mushrooms and we drew Zeus hammer, so that's just GG on this one. Ta-da! Extremely easy. Now let's go talk to this dude. Sure, what do you got for us? Hooray, Sorty W. Uh, that's a little less impressive. 
Spiky E. Well, E is an alright chip code, actually. Mushy H. Um, I think these all require grass panels. I don't think there's an H code grass stage. Tragically. Jelly Y. Once again, not impressive. Killer I K. Well, there's another good thing in K code. Momogra G. G's a decent code, actually, but not, like, top tier, I think. It's got good stuff in it, but it's not, like... You know what I'm saying. It's sort of the, the beginner early game... The, the early game good stuff code, and then later on... Later on, you graduate to stuff like F and D. Uh, P is another good one, as we've seen before. With or without the promotional chips. Oh, I should have taken the other ones for more custom style EXP. But... That fight is easily dealt with. I shouldn't need folder back, but I'll I'll take it anyway cuz it's fun. Damn it. Oh well. Mild inefficiency. Boo, whatever. We're not doing this for a speed run or anything. If we were, I would have quit 2 weeks ago. And then some. Oops. Well, over here at least I'm completely safe. So, credit for that, I suppose. Which is why we get back into the line of fire for a second. That's, well, at this point, we're pretty low on cash, so, like, anything is actually good. Oh, also, here's a neat thing. Uh, while we have a barrier up, we don't get affected by wind whatsoever. So that's pretty neat. That thing can't suck us in. I've been... I've been talking a lot of shit about shield style, but it definitely has some things that I strongly appreciate, and I'm going to be quite sad when we inevitably lose them, because we have to.
I thought for sure that I fucked that up, but... Nice. And yeah, we... I dealt with Drill Man off camera, because... Yeah. And there's our... There's a Guts Impact J for us, and right now we gain access to absolutely nothing else. Nice. That's fun. I don't know why I feel like I need to take exactly uh, two panels here, but... You know, j just bear with me. I'm glad Magnum 3 is super easy with the uh, remembering when it ends thing. So yeah, that was significantly less than I thought it would be worth. But that's okay. Now let's take a look at our chip library and we're missing eight chips right now. Secret 3, custom style. Custom style, secret three, secret three, secret three, uh, secret three mystery data, secret data, yeah. So basically there is very little else for us to do right now except for proceed into the final part of the secret area. So that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a lot of fun. And by that I mean kind of a nightmare, but you didn't hear it from me. Ah, I see. Timing that. <laughs> if I had somehow screwed up the step cross, I would have been so. I would have been real upset, but I would have laughed also. Because, like, how do you do that? Oh, neat. Good job. Also, neat that Curse Shield, Curse Shield 1 asterisk. There's some pretty solid asterisk coded chips that we can get here, so. Uh, take full advantage if you get the chance. And you're playing this game for whatever reason. Oh, yeah! Oh, that was good. This is gonna get us some good results, right? Yeah! <laughs> oh, yes! I haven't had a chance to show off No Beam 2, but... I mean... It's, it's pretty potent. 260, but you have to have an object behind you. Also, yeah, there's no fucking way you're going to register that chip, but 260 damage, and it paralyzes on top of that. Uh, hey, Yamato Man, you in here? That's right, I called him by his real name, not Japan Man. 
because I mean business. <laughs> wow, okay. That thing actually dodged my step cross. That is... I am disgusted and amazed at the same time. Oh, he might be behind that thing that I discovered while I was goofing off last time. Or he might be behind the ghost guy or something? Or like, all the way back here? Oh, this... this setup. Okay, this one... is one that I know quite well. Because the drop from it is... The, the drop from that fight in custom style is pretty valuable. We'll just say that. Honestly, this is a fight I don't even want to fuck around with. Because these bees are just kind of the worst. Get them out of here. If I accidentally end up with team style, it's a fucking tragedy. Whatever. So this guy is not hiding. Dude, he might be at the other warp point. And yeah, here is our Magnum 2 source. With the, uh, the, the Smasher, I think it was called. But the odds are good that I'm not actually going to use that very much. I probably should, like, demo it at least once, but also... I mean, I like what I'm using, so... Yeah. Not the one I was aiming for, but all right. Ah, boy. Shadow and Q code. Yeah, okay. All right. So, before we deal with this, because there's a number hidden here... I've seen this encounter, and I set up a folder that has a combo to deal with it. It's gonna be very ugly, because this folder is really not set up to do this, like, in a smart way. This folder is basically what I was using in order to try and best deal with Drillman. However, I think you can kind of guess what I'm going to do with this fight. And if not, well, you'll find out when I get there. And no, it's not the meteors. And yes, it is a PA that we haven't seen before. So maybe saying, like, oh, you'll figure it out when you get there is kind of unfair. But listen. When you see it, You'll see it. Man, I'm not getting the kind of luck I had with this when I when I tested this fight. Yeah, look at that. Our heat shot was glued to the bottom of our deck. 
Thanks, game. God, fucking CCG players lament, right? So, heat spread. Uh, we've seen bubble spread already, I believe. And heat spread is exactly the same. 300 damage. Uh, doubled damage on grass because it's a fire attack. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot our cube. And there we go. One and done. Nice and easy. I only had to sit there with my thumbs up my ass for three turns. And by three turns, I mean like five turns. But whatever. Sometimes you just got to dirtle in order to get your, your goal accomplished. And here we are, everybody. Secret Area 3. Oh, loving rear of many. That's right. We've unlocked all of the viruses. So we can go on this press path in the secret area. I actually should go back to secret area too and go find Japan Man again. There's that name again. Fuck. Oh, you jerk. You dodged it. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. The lightning bolts. I... I forgot that they attack with lightning bolts in this game and not like... Uh, well, they had the... The, the pokey-ass electric rings in uh, BN2. But for some reason in this game, I thought it was a Thunderball. Which at least would be able to, like, turn and stuff. But that would be kind of weird, because that would be the only Thunderball in the entire game. And yeah, you can see, these encounters do not fuck around. Land a shot! Yes! Oh, damn it! That was stupid. I haven't saved recently, have I? I saved before the... I saved before the number. Well... Oh, no, we saved at the start of the area. Okay. That was smart. <sighs> yeah, um... These fights might turn out to be a bit of an issue. Oh shit. This actually is really shitty of a fight. I don't like this. My folder is not set up to accommodate my dealing with this. Zoinks! Can't believe I got away with any of that. Like, that should not have been legal what just happened there. Alright, now all we gotta do is actually draw a halfway decent fucking air shot here. Mm. Ooh, I need... I need a significantly better folder to deal with this, I think. I just need something that... I just need more, like... I don't know... Massive damage attacks in here. And apparently the Magnum is just not massive enough, so... You know, d despite the name... Do I need to just go look for... Look at what code Northwind is in and be like, Okay, can I do that? I was gonna, yeah, I can. Just, I've got 920. That is a big oof because that fight is actually like super important for us to deal with. Well, um, hmm. It might be time for us very, very soon, other than just like sort of hit and run farming for mines in Asterisk Code. Oh, well, I've got some of these. I can at least have that and, like, fuck my chip folder up more. Um, I was going to say it might just be time to either, like, hit and run farm for Asterisk Code Mines or... Uh, maybe even go so far as to be like, okay, we're going to Bass GS it. Which I don't want to do. Okay, so this fight... Again, we've got a scut list in here, but 
this time we really only need to, uh... Th this fight is not ranked. One. And two... It's... What the hell am I thinking? Oh my god, I hate the... I hate the, the plant dudes. They're, they're kind of the worst. Like, who decided that what this dude needed is the obnoxious fucking vine attack? Also, I just threw that... I just threw my second bomb over the edge. Oops! Well, there we go. That is going to add those last two to our Scutless chip. And that's nice, I think. Um, oh my god, I forgot to go look for Northwind. I mean, I want that for a certain fight later on anyway, so what am I doing? Yeah, it's C code. I mean, I could probably just be using the, the C code again anyway. Um, it's worth getting rid- you know what, that Dino Wave ain't doing shit for me. I think I'm going to actually tag that as my- my starting chip here, just because we're going to be dealing with that many sources of auras for a little while, that I think it's going to be worth it. Yeah, like, as soon as I say that, we get into a fight that's just like, hey, uh, here's two enemies that start the fight with big fucking auras. Nice. <laughs> Look at that vine attack having trouble. Uh, it fills me with a certain kind of glee. Thank goodness those things have elemental weaknesses, that's all I'm going to say. I don't know if we've seen yet, but these guys drop the Life Aura chip if you beat them at a certain high enough rank. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the library and see if we have that already. We don't, so apparently whatever I was saying about if we showed it off, well I haven't yet, okay. Oh, interesting, you can't get over here without having... Okay, so it's... This is just for the, the bug frag trader. I thought this location was also uh, a necessary place to go for other things. Oh, God. Oh... I don't like this fight anymore. This is... <laughs> this is mean. I was like, oh boy, a Trombi, whatever. Trombe. Oh, you jerks. I just stay in the middle. Now that said, I do love the sound they make of just that... Bum 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 bum. It's so noxious. It's just, it's fantastic. Oh, you are absolutely taking the piss, me. Oh, we're frozen too far up. Good. Well, that was an incredibly disgusting fight, all considered. It's a fucking floor. I need to... I should probably put Ice Stage in there, but also maybe not. Alright. Let's put in some Bug Frags, and... Well, that's quite ominous. Uh, it gave us Navi plus 20. The rewards for this thing are quite good. Like that. That's pretty surprising. Two... Three... You've got to use this thing 30 times in order to continue with the game. Uh, by continue with the game, I mean unlock part of the post-game. So I'm going to use it 29 for now. 
four, five. Ooh, well, that's quite rare. Six. Neat, we don't have to pick that up anymore. Seven. Ooh, I don't think we have that yet. This will be eight. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I ground like a billion of those earlier in the game, remember? Let's go for nine. Oh, that's terrible. Number ten. Come on, show me something, something else fun. Nah, all right, I'll take it. Eleven. Needler three. You. Well, again, that's another new entry in the library. All right, twelve. Pawn. N. Maybe a good code. Pawn chip is pretty fun. Discord Z. Boo. All right, number 14. Team 2 Z. Ugh. All right, 15. Another Navi 20. 16. Oh, now that's good. That's great, actually. 17. Time Bomb M. I think that's the only Time Bomb I'm missing, so that's cool. 18. I already have that. And from this, too. 19. Timpani N. Uh, funny how that works. Alright, that'll be number... 20, I believe. Yeah. Elect plus 30. Uh... I'm actually going to save, and I'm going to double-check that real quick, because that's an achievement. So, oh, it won't let me do the thing. This is why I saved beforehand. Phew, you must be tired. I'll boot up the gallery. Understood. And that should tell us if we're at 20 or, uh, yeah, visit the bug factor 20 times. All right. So we do nine more, and we hope the game gives me some of the, like, really upper tier shit that you can get from this. Alright. Eight more uses. Oh, yeah! That's good. Seven more to go. Another elect plus 30. You know, maybe I should take advantage of those. Alright. Six... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be at 169 is when we're done here. And hey, we got this guy, uh, before we've even fought him. Uh, well, fought his, that version of him, rather. Lava Cannon 3, now we don't have to find that enemy. In fact, we can skip over it entirely. Anubis A. Oh, I spent 80k on that game. Can you at least give me the money back? Slasher B. Um... I appreciate that one. That's pretty solid. Muramasa M. Don't need that. And there's another Airshot 3. That's my third total of those. And Gyasaur G. So, none of what I was really looking for. That thing can cough out... That thing can give out Navi chips. It can give out anything, really. Also, yeah, there's Sanctuary. So, we are now missing... Volcano. Burning. No Beam 3. And... Hole. So, of those, we're missing one from a... One from a Mystery Data. We're missing two from needing... Custom Style. Which we're still working on, don't worry. And we're missing a third... Uh, pardon me, we're missing two, three... Uh, the fourth one is No Beam 3, and you get that from the rarest encounter in the entire area. Because of course you do.
Oh, right. Yeah. Side shots got me. Crud. That's disappointing. At the very least, we've lined these guys up for what should hopefully be a fairly easy double kill. Oh, don't, don't do that. Just let it time out. Remember to play smarter, not harder, or something. I don't know. Unfortunately, all it got us was money. That's all right. We'll just have to deal. And yeah, I'm saving after every encounter because, oh boy, this area is tough. And when you get fights like this, that just makes things even worse. So let's just book it as soon as we get a chance. Save. Oh, hey, look, a number. Let's save in front of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this one... This one can basically be solved the way that we dealt with the other one and also with folder back. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know what the actual trick for this is offhand, other than we're going to put base GS in that other folder and we're going to just use that for this exact purpose. And you know what? That's it. You know, I know how to find that really easy. Now we gotta wait for these holes to recover before we can- oh, there we go. Or we can just do this. And rock cube. And hey look, once again, Took our entire folder for that to happen. But... Boom! Easy enough. Ooh, there's a monolith over there. That'll be fun to deal with in a second. Uh, where did my untrap go? What the fuck? I am not dealing with that. Well. Alright, so we're gonna go... get rid of full cust for a second, because, yeah. Um, and by get rid of full cust, I mean get rid of... Get rid of the other thing as our, our regular chip. We don't need that right now. We do, however, need a full cust on board. And we've got... We got some big boys here. Well... Medium-sized boys, anyway. Ah, oh, what the fuck was that, me?
That was some bad inputs is what that was. Okay, I saw him clam up. I was about to be real annoyed if that Met had somehow managed to get away from me like that. Okay, so we've got... What are we... Oops. That was dumb. I lost my barrier and still took damage. Where's my iframes game? Damn it. Mm. It still got the hit in. That makes me mad. That thing zips around too fast for me to rock cube properly into uh, into a corner. So yeah. All right. This encounter is looking pretty meh. And here come the balls. Remember, these guys act real weird with area grabs and stuff. Two slime s and a trumpy. Uh, they could be. They could have given us like the the ex version at this point. I think. I'm not gonna complain about them giving me an easier time, but still, it always seems weird. Oh, there we go. There's our instant win. Our instant win button. This Zeus hammer and our problems are all solved forever. That's better. That's more like what I want to do. All right. Two Geetles. I don't like these enemies very much, but... That's about all I can really say here. And this setup is kind of antithetical to my strategies, so... That also does not make me very happy. Especially when I whiff on a step cross like that. That's much better. Alright, two Momogras and a Heaviest.
Gotcha. I don't know why that other panel wasn't broken. Was it, like, about to move? A yard and a blue demon. Ooh. So... Um... Hmm. I got nothing here. Other than just to wait, I guess. Aw, oh, damn it. And it scrolled right down into my thing. I wish those counterattacks actually, like, counted for me. Let's just position ourselves for step cross whenever it draws. Or I could just not draw it. I mean, that's also a possibility. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Is that the last fight here? Yes, it is. Okay, so... Uh, what if we full energy first? I gotta remember I have those. Alright, what do we got here? Is this... Oh, 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 this one. Okay, so... Uh, you'll see that we have a bit of a problem using our usual strategy here. I don't know how to deal with this off the top of my head. So, I'm actually going to, uh... I need a second to think, actually. Oh, right, this is copy damage strats. This is what I need to do here, is I need to use copy damage, right. Ew, copy damage. For reasons of not murdering people? Alright, okay. I... I see what you're about, you sick jerks. Alright, so we go... Sort by code. Scroll ourselves down. Uh, we, we over-scrolled. Here we go. Copy damage. Alright, so... This time what we're going to do is we're going to flag part of the actual combo instead of me just screwing around here. Oh, do I, it would help if I actually equipped the proper folder here. There we go. Alright. So we do that. Tragically, I don't think that that base GS is going to give us the win because his vanishing world ends before it can hit the entire... We're going to try it, though. And in fact, yeah, um, we needed to be like one further back for that to actually work. So as you... In fact, would that have... Because, like, wait a second. Now I'm just... Now I'm just... Now my brain is just kind of full of fuck. Alright, so now I just gotta start doing dumping in order to get to... I basically... I basically have to hit such a point where I have a god hand ready after I set grass stage back up, because as you can tell, 
Uh, things are looking a little bit like that's not exactly there anymore. And I think I've got everything for next turn. Yes. Alright, copy damage. PA. Damage boost. I don't know the actual trick to this one. There's... There's some other way to do this, I'm pretty sure. But, that does do the trick. Let copy damage never be underestimated. It has a very thin timing for when you can uh, copy damage properly, but boy oh boy, it does the job. And the reward is kind of worthless outside of library completion. Thanks, game. So yeah, all of our last three chips are things that we have to get from fighting enemies or from just pure luck in a chip trader. I'm curious about something. Okay, that does work. Awesome! That makes my life actually quite a lot easier. Mm, that does not, however. That's better. And it didn't break the... Oh, it's on a fucking holy panel! I'm just gonna leave the fight. I don't care. I... I can run away from this. I can run away from it, so I'm going. Enough of that trash can shit. Anyway, at the top of this gigantic staircase, the Door of Honor. Gain the Star of Honor by collecting fragments of power. That's a great description. That requires you to get all 200 standard chips. I'm not even particularly interested in this fight either. I already have both of those chips. I mean, I guess more Needler 3s might be fun for something later on, but for the time being, I don't care! I actually don't want to take like 90% of the fights here, to be honest with you. This one, however, this is quite easy, so... You know what? I appreciate the breather game. Of course, the reward is completely worthless for us, but it just means that, hey, that's more uh, EXP towards custom style for us, and we don't have to take hits. So, nice. I'll deal with the rest of that area in a bit. I want to go back and figure out where our old friend is hiding here. And maybe just get to fights that are a little bit more, uh, a little bit more palatable for us. You know, things that won't fucking murder us instantly would be nice. And at this point, I will gladly take the money uh, from these junk mobs. Outside of, like, certain ones where I would really want... Like, I would love to have that no beam, but I'm not getting that. Not it. Not unless I manage to, like, draw a nut there. Like, if I, if I drew a perfect hand on that one, okay, sure.
And tragically, I didn't get it there, but I got something in the same code that the no-beam usually is in. It's just a really bad ship. And, yeah. Nice. Here we go. Here should be Japan Man Alpha. Alright, buddy, back up. Back the fuck up. There we go. It's better he backed the fuck up. Alright, just stun, or stun. Steal. Stunion rings. And place that. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that this rock cube is about to get busted. By my own hand. Yeah, there it goes. I had that thing set up for dealing with backup, but... That's just not going to be a thing now, I suppose. Buddy, you were, you were prepared for the wrong thing. But I give you a little bit of credit for that. Hooray! Uh, what do you still have? You have a Guts Impact and an Airstorm 3. I'll take the Guts Impact. I don't care about the Airstorm that much, aside from the... <laughs> aside from the, you know, thing of completing all shops, I guess. Right, let's turn Untrap on for, like, the one thing that we're going to use with... Use it on. Nice. Tragically, not the chip I wanted out of that fight, but okay. Lance E. That's pretty good. Yeah, so the, the things in Secret Area 2 are actually quite good in terms of what you get from the, the untraps. So, credit for that, at least. You know, points there. Unfortunately, now comes the part of proceedings where I basically am probably just going to be grinding for a moment. Yeah, that should be an easy S rank, honestly. I mean, just... Sure, we, we bumbled a little bit, but whatever. Because, yeah, now we have to get to... Uh, now we have to get custom style. And that's, like, our last thing in order for us to get, like, any of that, except for... The one chip from there that is no beam three, and that's the last other thing that we could possibly uh, pick up. I suppose I could demo a couple of other things here, but yeah, let's let me pull that 
at ship location info real quick. Just to make sure that I'm not wrong about that for some reason. What is ship order? Oh, it's U code for no beam two. Ew. It's terrible. No beam one is K code. That's slightly less garbage. Oh god, yeah, it is. It only drops ships at what busting level nine or above. That's that's real fun. Uh, quantity. Do we? Have? Oh yeah, we got plenty of stuff we can just throw into the chip trader, and at least do that. A break in the monotony with more monotony, I suppose. Oh wait, no, wrong location that I'm going to. Pardon me. I I blinked for a second there. You might have been able to notice. Anti-Navi V. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Yes. And it's in a great code, by the way. But there's... We don't have to fight that... We don't have to find that NO3 group anymore. And it is... Kind of miserable to find that gang of enemies anyway. Like, that, I think, is the rarest encounter in the area. Unless you have... Uh... You need fish equipped for that. Ooh! Alright, so we're only missing one ship from the library now. Although it is, again, something that we... Uh, we still want custom style anyway, because custom style is real good. It's just that I'll actually get back to grinding fights in a moment. I was fishing for the other thing, not so much that. Another Black Bomb 1F. Uh, that would help us, like, go hard monocode, but I don't actually really want to... If I'm going to do a monocode, I'm going to go with P over F, I think. And even then, I'm not saying that I'd want to. Yeah, it'd probably be like P and T or something. Okay, good. I do have all the parts of that PA, so I can actually do that. That's fun. T. Anything else fun going on in T right now? Not so much. I mean, I guess I could learn the Metor uh, thing and figure out which one is the best and put that to use as a, a time-freezing shockwave attack. I'm going to go to Higsby. I'm going to go check the chip codes of a couple of things real quick that he's got for sale and then we're just gonna keep doing our thing Just remember what all I'm looking for. Well, burning is an L, so that's neat. That's it. No beam three W. Um, I think that's okay. That seems okay. Needle three U. That's. Mm. There was something else I wanted to see, and I forgot what it was already. That's real good. When that happens. Oh, right, Northwind. Okay, 
a code for North Wind. That's... That is significantly better, and if I'm able to pick that up, I'd probably use that, because a code has some good stuff in it. So I suppose that I may as well go show off our old friend here with the uh, the virus lab thing. I couldn't think of the words I was looking for. So we go with the virus breeder. And I think this is where we want to go to, because every virus has a section here. Yep. Alright, so this is how we, we feed them. We can give them a maximum of 100 bug fragments total. Uh, distributed however we please across these dudes, which... Uh, makes things quite easy, but actually, right, no, we have to... We have to actually go over here and hand it out to them. And it hands out in blocks of three, so that's... Or, block, that's blocks of three. Blocks of ten, pardon me. That's number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So, yeah, it's... Wait a sec, is it... Do you only have fifty... I, okay, so, pardon me, it, it distributes in blocks of five, actually. Alright, so that's 12, 13, 14, 15. You should really just be able to, like, input a number and give them that many. 18, 19... And 20. Alright, so when we get that message, that means that we've maxed out feeding them. Oh, they got a message. They got a boss. Alright, we gotta meet the boss. They say he's a prisoner in the evil castle. Alright, so in order to go meet the Scutless Omega, we're... <laughs> yes, I'm setting myself up to go fight, like, the nastiest... The nastiest boy. We gotta go over to Beach Street and go back to Dr. Wily's castle. If we jack into the message board, well, I guess we can't see if it's a message board, actually. I'm thinking of BN5, but the hidden jack-in point at Dr. Wily's castle, it would help if I went to the right location. Right here. And it's in here somewhere. I'm going to have a bit of a rough go finding this, probably. Hey, you. That's right. You're you're the sub-chip, dude. Here we go. Oh, no. No, here we don't go. This is a different fight entirely. So we're basically just going to keep running away from each of these fights until eventually we find the right, uh, until we find the right tile here. Because I don't remember exactly where to go here and the, uh, the description was not necessarily very descriptive. Alright, here we go. Now, they both have... 200 HP auras, and that's a little scary, but what is significantly more upsetting is that fucking 400 HP a pop, and these guys are not going to be slow, and they are going to hit really hard. So we'll, we'll do this. 
Won't break any barriers, but that's fine. We got them basically where we want them for now. Which is in a place where they can't do anything to us. And those are too slow for us to escape from the beams, especially from the top one. So, yeah. We're just going to keep dumping our hands, basically, until we draw a north wind. And then... After that... Well, you know what? Zeus Hammer works pretty good, too. Bonk! Ah, oh, my barrier is gone. That's okay. We, Where we're going, we don't need that shit. And there we go. Scutless Omega has joined the cause. And we even got a trophy for it. You know what? All right, game. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right, so now I feel okay about putting that thing in my folder. And we're going to, at the earliest opportunity, figure out what exactly the, uh, the, the final target is for that. Meanwhile, it's time for us to go and take a look at where our, uh, go find the quiz masters, because we got to do those. And that should get us some decent rewards, I hope. That's Chote. He's not a quiz guy. Okay, so it's dude at the top of things. Alright. What you got for us, buddy? It's free! It's the attack force of Cannonball. 160. It hits pretty hard. Good for the Scilab. The... Not that. That doesn't sound like something I ever learned, so... Yep, Spider has... That's two. That's legs he's talking about. What did Gutsman have to face in the Endurance Contest? Heat. How many girls are in Class A? Uh, four? Lucky guess. Tomiko decorates her hair with a silver gear. Guild was Wily the Master. Robots. Alright. What is this game's second title? Battle Network. What is Bubble Man's Dance called? Bubble da Oh, Bubbly Dance. Pardon me. It's not Spongy Dance. I know that. Type of Navi is Beast Man. A beast. What was Higsby's job in the past? He was a teacher. That's ST Beach. That's what was Yai crazy about. Holding fans. Yes. Love and loss. Oh wow, it's only 15 questions. I thought for sure that it was 20 because there's four quiz masters and he's the highest level one. So I fully expected him to be like the, the absolute giving me 20 questions at least, which I think the, the quiz master that we dealt with in Shanghai was 20 guys or uh, 20 questions, right? I don't remember. I haven't played that game in several months. Alright, you are one of them. Alright. 
Small at noon, tall in the evening, and gone at night. It's the Sphinx. Wait. Hi. Spell, spell it correctly. Cross sandals and a banana peel. Slippers! It's round on both ends and high in the middle. Ohio. We're four a day. Oh. It goes up but never comes down. Your age! Where would you find Mount Fuji? Japan, not Fiji. <laughs> Number seven. A pig gives poor work. Cow gives beef, and a baby sheep is a lamb. In the fairy tale, was Hansel's sister called Gretel? The planet is between Mars and Saturn, Jupiter. Which one of these animals lays eggs? A snake. That's right. None of them had anything to do with this game. And we got ourselves a Barrier 200. <laughs> Are you looking to be Quiz Queen? Maybe. I know I don't always come across like it, but I do know a bunch of shit. I, <laughs> I know a lot of very odd things, that's for sure. Alright, and these... The last two are in Yoka. Again, I don't remember if I've dealt with either of them, so we'll find out very soon. Alright, here's a kid in the hall. Yep, we got that one, and there's a man in the bath, I think. Okay, no, he's on the same screen, but we gotta go through the other side of the inn to get to him. Well, other side of the inn room, rather. Alright, here we go. Alright, buddy. Which Breeder Grand Prix did Class 5B win? Uh, I don't know. But hey, now we're now we're getting into questions about the game. Apparently the answer is the eighth. What animal pours out water into the inn's outdoor bath? It's a lion. Mini cake stand in front of the zoo. How many gas bottles are next to the stand? Four? I think it's five then. Oh no, it's two. Pardon me, I overmashed. It's not in Mail's room. A... Oh, no, there's a trash can. Which, you know, is a smart idea, so... Stuffed animal. Oh, she doesn't have a stuffed animal in this game? Right, she's got the Servbot doll. I seem to recall having remarked on that, and I forgot what I was... I overmashed for the question, pardon me. Alright, what direction is the panda at the zoo looking? Backward. How many statues of people are there just inside the zoo? Three. Where is the newest blackboard in the school? Uh, teacher's lounge? Yeah, okay. That was a total guess. How many gold shield displays are in the principal's office? I don't remember. I didn't even remember there were any of those in there. Oh, I... Again, I'm doing the overmatch thing. Obviously, it goes a lot faster for things that are just single digits, so... Yeah. That'll happen. Right. Teacher's Lounge... Okay, it's only three. All right. I just need to buy a lottery ticket in front of the zoo. A hundred... No, it's 150 then. So I remember it's, like, really cheap. Or I might be confusing it with something else. That's also a distinct possibility.
Yeah, okay, I was thinking of something else. Pardon me. I was thinking of the price of... You have an ability to buy chocolates somewhere, and they come with randomly selected uh, codes for the number trader. Which is quite useful, but I just looked those up, so... You know. I actually plays in school. Clay statue, a boomerang, a crystal ball. A clay statue. Alright. Well, there we go. There's our HP memory for it. Excellent! So now we have the ability to open the one last gate in Secret Area 2. We'll get to that eventually. For now, I want to save in front of this thing. And yes, we have a very nice amount of uh, bug frags on our person right now. I forgot what they were already. Amazing. Okay, so these are our new encounters for the area, I think. Our, we get the, the Mets, although... That seems real weak with this setup. Like, even weaker than what I thought, because I remember that, that the new enemies are here are not particularly strong. But even then, this seems kind of overkill. Yeah, this is more like it. Because, yeah, in case you were not able to ascertain on your own... Oh, I... I screwed that up pretty badly. That would have been much nicer, is if we just gotten the Zeus hammer at the beginning of things. This is the location where our our samurai guy shows up as our extra boss. And yes, he's got a, a fairly unique field here that is definitely not like the one that he had earlier on in the game. And I kind of like that. Or at least the, the triple delete was nice. Okay, so this, we can finally get a, we can finally get an idea as to what this is going to be like. We're going to pop our invisible, activate scut list, and just let it time out. Because it does time out. And it lands on the silver boy. All right. That actually makes my life quite a bit easier. So those should always be fixed in terms of what the final result is. So that's like, I'm pretty sure it's a 200 damage beam, which is a pretty good, pretty good chip then. I suppose I could learn the timing or something, but like, meh. 
I've tried to do that with a bunch of the other. I still can't do perfect fighter swords for some reason. Sometimes I just accidentally step back and then long sword. Can I finally switch over to having custom style? God damn it. This is taking me a while. It's taking me far too long of a while. Sheesh. Nice. It handled itself. Come on, game. Just give me something here. Give me the damn style or give me a boss fight or something. I don't know. I want something else interesting going on. Come on. Nice. Double nice. Just getting those counters, I'm not even trying to. That's always fun. Folks, this is why we usually do the grinding off camera. Because otherwise it's really annoying. This happen.
Alright, sorry about the, the radio silence for a second. I stood up to stretch a little bit. Because, yeah. I mean, listen, Shield Style is done leveling up. I have everything for it. It should eventually be barfing me out something better here. If the game remembers how its own mechanics are supposed to work, anyway. And it may be that it doesn't, so... Perhaps I shouldn't say nothing. I don't know. Come on, already. Honestly, this folder seems like it's getting a little bit bogged down with crap codes. I may have to do something about that. I may have to just switch back to uh, C code as my auxiliary or something. Because, yeah, thinking about it, that scut list is not as impressive as it sounds. Now, let's throw another step cross in there. It'll be fine, probably. It's a good ship. I'm surprised the boss hasn't shown up. I'm surprised I haven't seen uh, Japan Man here. Because we've beaten his V2. He should be spawning here. This is his location that he shows up in. He's not locked to any point past that. Although, again, the fact that I still don't have the fucking style change yet, which, at this point... Oh yeah, there's the chip I would have wanted at the start of the thing. It's okay, the cannonball would have been in P code or something anyway, so... Not as good as it seems like or something. I already have a bunch of those.
Game, come on. Saving again just in case I get... You know, just in case I get screwed somehow, because... I know how these video games are. They... They do... Rude things sometimes. Actually, I realized I have another Plasma 3P. I could probably just set up some shenanigans with that if I wanted to fight this guy for optimal damage or something. I don't know. I'm thinking about this too much, or perhaps too little, as the case may be. Game, for fuck's sakes, I'm getting real, real bored of this. It's supposed to be 100 battles. Surely, surely I've done that by now. I feel like I've done that just in this stream, but then again, like a large part of them were also... Uh, the kind that have no results screen. Here we go. Here he is, the man of the hour, question mark. All right, lock him in. Well, I guess the damage is good too. Damn it! You asshole! Fucker just immediately jumps right back to where. Right. What? What a guy. Get out of there. Alright. Stun. gonna say we're we're banking on drawing step cross on this turn because I know it'll happen eventually So I do have kind of a bad feeling that this is not going to last too long. But we did try, and in fact we succeeded a little bit. Just mash A, just mash A, just mash A, it's almost... Got him! Yeah! Alright. I don't think that was under 30 seconds. Oh, it was... Oh shit, wow, okay. That's almost good enough for, for us to have gotten a V4 if we had team style, but damn. Uh, you can really tell that if you use those grass tiles effectively, you can rack up a ton of free damage on this guy. And, like, he doesn't synergize with those whatsoever. So I don't know why he's even got them. But, alright. Uh, I'll deal with getting the V2 off camera, I suppose. You know, I don't care about being over here. If I'm gonna farm, I'm gonna go do it in... ACDC Area 1 for the rest of this now. And in fact, as a bonus point, I'm going to farm with Buster Max on because... Because, whoo boy, yeah. Just, just, whoo boy. Speaking of woo boy, we just drew a handful of Navi chips. 
Nice. Real nice. Yeah, that's really gonna help us get our custom style. The things that give us team style instead. Makes total sense to me. Thanks a fucking lot, Riker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at this point, I'm literally just grinding fights in order to get to a style change, Lears. Just, just to point out, in case you've, like, not been paying attention, which, to be fair, I don't blame you. Also, how's stuff going in GTNH? Because, I mean, obviously, I signed off from that several hours ago. But it seemed like things were going okay with what you were working on there. Yeah, no, that's fair. Those are probably the two best games in the... <laughs> yeah, that, that'll that just suck you right in, right? There's just so much to that. Like, how is GTNH that big? Oh, right, because uh, they, they've literally been working on it for the past eight years total or something and continuing to add stuff. Basically all but automatic diesel. Oh, that is pretty sweet. I like where that's going. That's, that's sounding like we've got good power for the time being, so I appreciate that. I'm assuming, also, that, like, you haven't done any more shit for any of the Thomcraft stuff, which, to be fair, again, I don't blame you for that. The Moss Balls are, like, kind of ancillary. We haven't had to, like, go fight anything, right? <laughs> you know, when are we gonna have to actually do battles again? Probably gonna be a bit for that. Oh, we need we need a jetpack to deal with the lich. Okay. And Thom is Thom is locked behind killing the lich. So you can't set up the infusion stuff yet is basically what you're saying. Well, to that I say boo, but oh well. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I would love to have that moss effect on on the bolts. But, uh, you know what? I guess we'll just have to deal. Probably need, like, 35 or 40. Oh, boy. Yeah, so there's definitely going to have to be even more than just beating up on the Lich, I'm sure. And yeah, the the other thing I was trying to say other than, before I was like, oh yeah, it's fair that GTNH kind of wiped out the interest in playing this stuff because it's so absorbing and so gigantic, is also that BN2 and 3 are probably going to be most people's, like, top games. Like, BN6 also, to some extent. But 
I don't know, it's a different feeling, at least for me. That said, after I finish this game, I may uh, switch over to doing something else for a bit uh, in terms of streaming. Not tonight, of course, but like just future streams. I may play a different game just to just to break things up a little bit and get in, you know, maybe a couple other shorter games. Uh, I still I didn't play Ratchet and Clank three last year because I ran out of time for it. So I could throw that in there. Uh, there's probably some other stuff, too, that I just can't think of offhand. Obviously, there's, like, thousands, millions of games out there. I could just be like, well... There we go. Finally, everybody, it is time. Welcome back to Flavor Country. Oh, it's Wood Element. Well, uh, you know what? The element for our custom style actually doesn't really mean that much. The one that I want to be electric specifically is team style once we get to that. Because that will enable us to use uh, bolt and lightning. Yeah, let's let's ditch that and go back to improving this one. So by unlocking custom style. Uh, we're going to make a quick change here, and that is going to be that this invis is going to take a hike. And we're going to put a barrier in here, because one of the rather tragic things about, uh, about shield style is that it does not give you first barrier as a program. That's, like, one of the things that I'd just be like, okay, yeah, if you got rid of block and you gave me first barrier instead... I'd just be like, okay, you know what? That's it. Shield style is like number two on the on the top style list. But instead, it it gives us block, which is a completely worthless program. Like to a hilarious extent. So basically, uh custom style allows us to unlock what is variously known, depending on whom you ask in the community as either a custom style S rank or an S plus or sometimes S plus plus rank for certain things. So uh, actually S plus and S double plus are two separate things. And this is absolutely wild. I don't think I even realized this uh, when I was a kid as being a thing that exists. To get an S plus, and again, there's no indication of the S plus or S plus plus rank on the screen. It's a hidden thing, basically. If you get it... So, to get this, you have to score a busting level S in a virus battle in under five seconds without using your buster, without using a charge shot, or navi chips. And there is a level even beyond that if you can do all that without going back to the custom screen even once. Yeah, and that is going to be how we get our Volcano chip, which is the last chip in our library that we don't have. <laughs> this is to go even further beyond the Game Shark. Yeah, basically. Uh, So, this is actually kind of like the inverse of what this was like when I was playing this as a kid, almost. Because this is our last chip that we need to get in order to complete the standard library. When I was a kid, I basically got Volcano almost instantly as soon as I unlocked the chip trader at, I think, the hospital. It was just like, well, here you go. And I was like, what the hell is this? And I didn't know what it was. And I was just like, okay, yeah, but it's real strong. And it sure was. So, custom style S rank, especially like the, the the super custom style ranks, are basically, uh, hey, do you know how to use copy damage for most encounters? Or, hey, did you draw a barrier and Zeus hammer for most of the others? Like, I think there's only a very few encounters that cannot be dealt with using 
uh, Barrier and Zeus Hammer. And it's mostly just stuff like the, the Shadow and Doomer fight. And see, there you go. That would have been a, uh, a custom S rank. I don't think the Airstorm guys have anything useful. They certainly don't have an asterisk code version of their chip. Which is fine, because it kind of sucks anyway. Which is two jokes, because one of the things it does is pull enemies forward. But, terrible puns aside, we gotta go to Undernet 3 in order to go find us some volcano viruses. And hope that the game decides to not be a complete jerk about this. Also, yes, this is a game where you get full cust and it's easy to register and I'm foregoing registering it as my normal chip. I feel a little bit strange, but also this is a game where I am not using the fast gauge chip at all because I just have that as a NaviCust program. I think they took that out of every game afterwards because <laughs> they're like, no, no, that's that's too gross. And you know what? They were right, but also it was a lot of fun. So. Ooh, if I, no, I wouldn't have gotten the, I wouldn't have gotten the double because that thing's too strong. That's really a fight where I just want Barrier Zeus Hammer as the cheeser. All right, here we are, under net three. There's hopefully, hopefully we're gonna get into these fights pretty quickly and we'll get our volcano chip nice and fast and I'll be able to, I'll be able to go. That's where our first lance, I think, was. The the one that the game tells us is like R coded or S coded or something. I forget. I think it says it's S coded and it's actually R coded. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, this should be. This has a good chance of being just a freebie for that. Yeehaw! Got it in one. Unfortunately, you can see that it's Z code, so we're probably not going to be using volcano too much, but. Volcano is a mighty chip. 150 damage. It fires down all three rows. And it sucks all the lava panels out of your area, if there are any, to add 20 base damage to it. Which is pretty nice. Although, if you're trying to set it up with grass stage and you want to abuse landing multiple hits, good luck with that, because you will end up... Uh, you're going to end up screwing up your stuff pretty badly with that. Like, your area, the entire grass field is not going to survive, and you're going to just be like, well, damn. In fact, you'll probably just be like, well, boy, I really should know how to... <laughs> if only the, the descriptions were a little bit longer. In fact, they get shorter in later games, and they become even more unreadable. I don't want to deal with this fight. Fire shots, yeah, exactly. Except in BN4, they misspell shots. Wait. 5200, that's not bad. Uh, for when we get to doing V4... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's actually kind of not a joke. 
Kabam! All right, give me a different code. Volcano J. So, uh, if I recall correctly, the codes for the volcano chip are depending on version. Uh, from the standard volcano, you get volcano Z in blue, and you get volcano Y in white. So, kind of the least useful codes possible for it. Then, from the tier 2 volcano, volcano, you get J code in blue and I code in white. I think it's I code in white. So, kind of mid tier. Uh, I code is like suspiciously full of oddball utility stuff, despite the fact that it has like minimal synergy. Uh, sorry about the weird desk noises over there. There's a bit of a mess over here. I gotta clean up later. And the final version, Volcanest, who I don't even remember if we fought one of those. In either version, you get that custom S rank, you get a Volcano in A code, which is significantly more usable and universal, and just there's a lot more A code shit in general, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So definitely no custom S rank for us here, but... That's fine. We don't gotta- we don't gotta get him obsessively in every encounter. It's just that, like, hey, it's a neat thing. Uh, there's a couple of really great ships for it. If you land the custom S against, uh, against the Shadow Virus, they give you- they give you Shadow in Asterisk, which is just kind of gross, honestly. That's like, BN3 PvP, as far as I'm led to understand, is basically uh, the two players take turns button mashing as hard as possible, and by take turns, I mean they do it at the same time. At the beginning of a fight, one is trying to get Shadow, and the other one it, uh, basically just to see who gets the stun lock first from Plant Man or Flash Man, and then they just spam... Uh, the other thing. What am I doing? I should run from this fight. This is not a good setup. Uh, one is trying to activate Shadow, one is trying to activate Stun, is what I was trying to say. Or something to that effect. And basically, you just want to stun an opponent, go into Shadow, so that way you can't get Stun locked. It's incredibly stupid. Honestly, Battle Network PvP is kind of... some of the most terribly balanced shit in any video game ever in terms of like any pvp in any video game up until bn6 bn6 pvp is actually like legit all right let's save and here we go you may pass circle possessor of the star of honor the door opens You could delete 10,000 navvies there. He had to sit there for, like, forever, because who even gets in here? Jeez. Japan Man was a Scilab uh, defense guy, I guess, huh? Yeah, we, we gave him the what for. So who are we dealing with here? Say hello to Serenade, everybody. This is our first good and proper super boss for this game, and they are pretty cool. I like this character a lot. <laughs> Rubber band man, jeez. Plan, don't be so headstrong. This is how things go badly for you every time. Oh yeah, Serenade is a nasty 
nasty mf -er. They are legitimately one of one of the toughest nuts to crack, at least at first. And then you find out that there is a just ridiculously easy cheeser to deal with Serenade, and you just kind of go, well, gee, what was the point of all that? And especially considering what the said cheeser is. So this is Serenade's thing. Whenever you attack them, that shot gets reflected back. Also, it comes at ridiculous speeds. However, if you are able to, I think you actually have to like do the area lock like this. Oh, oh God. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Lads, I'm have I'm straight up having a bad time here. I'm just sacrificing like half of my HP in order to do this. So this is it. Serenade cannot dodge if... The Serenade cannot move up and down. So, this is it. This is the trick. Is to get our thing blocked by a holy shot. By a holy shot. That was quite unfortunate. That's right, Serenade. You and your hammer pants are done for, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. Here comes... The un... Here comes the misfortune, because we've got to reset our, our area lock. However, that might hopefully make things easier if I do that. Uh, I'm going to really hope for that. Alright, well, uh, you took damage, buddy. And a little bit of stun work. <laughs> Yeah, this is another time when just having, uh... Having Barrier as our, our front ship, even though... Like, yeah, we really do want to be able to, uh... Good God. Uh, we would really love to just be able to, uh, use that full cost. I think Barrier is actually coming in handy more here, because... Fuck. Land the shot. There we go. Oh! For real? For real, though. Damn. Alright, plant man, break through. Come on. Just... Oh, wow. Alright. Slippery, aren't you? And I just don't have the timing good for the, uh, for all the dodges, so. Alright. Oh, did- I forgot to turn that off. Oh, whatever, we skipped over five shots. Big whoop. Oops. 
It was the only time I used the buster to any useful effect. Don't give me any shit. I probably deserve it, but for other things. Oops. Big oops. Yeah, that that's a my bad. But I mean, I'll say this. That fight is really intimidating until you realize, oh my god, I could cheeseball this so badly by just spamming area grabs. And then it's just kind of pathetic. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should have turned it off beforehand. I forgot entirely. It seemed to the owners of Twin Galaxies. Oh, oh, fucking Twin Galaxies. Oh, my God. In my defense, I haven't been using the buster for any of the other crap for a while. <laughs> and we did it. And we are finally rank one in the undernet. Oh, yeah. That's right. We are the strongest, apparently. But he is trying to reawaken. Jesus? Seems that you have fought with him before. Airman? Managed to defeat him after a battle lasting days. Oh, bold pucky. The, the timer only lasts for 10 minutes. Which is something that we've never actually encountered, but yes, the timer on a battle will actually, if you go over 10 minutes, you lose. Denizen of the Dark. Incarnation. Oh, you mean base. Okay, never mind. Well, so much for... So much for any, uh, spoilers, right? Made more powerful with the bugs he absorbs. Use these bug fragments to heal his wounds. That's... Confusing, but okay. Then again, we've seen that glitches are just kind of like solidified into a a thing, so yeah. <laughs> he teams up with drum. I have to fight drum and bass. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Boss dumb drum? Bass dumb drum? Wait. <laughs> well, we're, like, half dead, and then some, so we should probably heal and then save. <laughs> Not ready to fight Pendulum Man. <laughs> Shit. That boss would be a real propane nightmare. Well, something about that boss fight was a little bit, uh... I'm trying to figure out a way to, like, work in a, a, a damp... I, my expectations were dampened, I suppose. There we go. Let's go with that. So, having beaten Serenade, now that we've beaten them, uh... Yeah, incidentally, a quick note, uh... Serenade, uh, is referred to throughout this entire game as, like, he, him, everything like that. Serenade was referred to by feminine pronouns and everything like that. Well, pronouns may not necessarily be the right word, but, uh, you know, feminine references, rather, in Japanese. As you could probably guess, because Serenade's design is very, uh, ambiguous. Iguchi actually very recently did say, did confirm that Serenade is intended to be genderless. So that's kind of cool, I think. In my opinion. You know, forward thinking for 2003. If only they'd actually had the balls to put it in the fucking game. But maybe they weren't sure at the time. So <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be so mean about it. Anyway, one last bug frag trade for the road. Chip data appeared with a thunderous growl and it was a piece of shit. Thanks, game. Well, it seems real angry at us now, so maybe we should probably stop goofing around with it. Also, another interesting Serenade thing that I, like, half-learned about recently. 
is that apparently they wanted to have a scenario for Serenade and Mamoru in BN6, but due to time issues and, of course, space issues uh, on the cartridge, because Capcom just had a thing of, hey, only use 8 meg cartridges for this series, uh, it was cut. In fact, like, I don't think it got far enough that they actually had resources for it or anything. So maybe it was cut even earlier than that and saying it was for time problems is not true. But still quite sad because, again, Serenade is pretty cool. And gets a very small roll. Deserved a lot better. A lot more, anyway. I think it's hard to ask for better than this game a lot of the time, so... You know. Yeah, no. I don't. That's for sure. Yeah, that works. Save here. You can just walk from this fight. Fight montage, man. <laughs> to, to end credits, man. Oh, okay, so are they not gonna make me fight, uh... Are they not gonna make me fight Bass GS here? Oh, sorry, I... <laughs> I said Bass instead of Bass. Oops. So I forget what, then, the requirements are for getting Bass GS to show up. Do I have to go... Like, all the way back into Secret Area 3? I thought it was literally just if you try to leave. But I might have been thinking of BN2. In fact, the odds are quite good that I was just thinking of BN2. Gotta go fishing. Yeah, there you go. Got to play some super black bass. Wait, no, sorry, I'm not Bryce Hulf. Oh, terrible timing there, uh, thigh gameplay. I was actually about to log off, but again, thank you for the host. I appreciate it anyway. <laughs> 